Welcome to the kitchen table of Silver Surf Wax. It's been a little while. Let's back up the truck. All right, well, it's not really backing up the truck. I did uh, make a purchase today, and it was, I, I wouldn't say an impulsive purchase, but it was a purchase that I did not uh, plan ahead as much to make. These, obviously, if you're paying attention, silver spot price went dramatically down recently and is lower than it's been in the last um, uh, several, many dozen weeks. And so I went ahead to my uh, coin store and loaded up the truck. So let's take a look at this. So if you, you guys probably notice, I, I haven't produced uh, any videos recently, last month or two. I had started making a bunch of coronavirus videos. Oh, I said it, I'm, I'll bleep it out. Uh, but everyone is getting uh, demonetized. Not that that's a problem for me because my channel's too small, but they're getting strikes or their videos uh, removed. And so I, I just got, I just got, um, I guess a little bit, you know, I don't know what the word is, but you know, demoralized or, or uh, downtrodden and, and wanting to um, <clears throat> make videos that I was interested in making regarding, uh, you know, the, the flu, the pandemic that's going around and, and the prepping that I have done and had uh, prepared uh, for previously for it. So as I was producing, you know, or, you know, filming some of this stuff and I started putting together realizing that if I put it up there, chances are it's going to get taken down or otherwise be problematic. And so uh, I, I, I didn't do it. So uh, I'm a little bit bummed out because I, you know, now that this thing has has blown up the way it has, I kind of wish I had uh, put that information out there ahead of time. Maybe it would help some other people avoid the long toilet paper lines that we're seeing today, which is just nuts, right? I'm going into my own supermarket, you know, here in San Diego and uh, in an area where I would never think people would panic buy and <clears throat> they're panic buying and they're in there filling up their carts, rushing around the stores, kind of in a freak out mode. I was just informed that the school districts are going to be closed for three weeks. So my kids are going to be staying home three weeks at home, no school. So this is really starting to have uh, an impact. And, uh, but, uh, as I was, um, watching the news, uh, watch silver just drop and drop and drop and way below, um, the, you know, my threshold. So I'm like, I got, I got to go ahead and buy. I got I to go ahead and pick some up. So I went ahead and picked up from my local LCS. I don't normally buy from my local coin store. They're just too expensive, which is unfortunate because I'd like to support them. But um, my local coin store is, is, is just too much for me. They charge a, a buck 50 over spot for anything, no matter what, generic, junk, and so a buck fifty over spot is well over what I'm used to paying online or at um, at coin shows or something like this. And so I just can't seem to buy from them. But I went online and I checked all the usual haunts and silver.com, Kitco sold out. Atmex, JM Bullion sold out. Provident, BGACSC, which is my normal haunt sold out and both uh, Provident and uh, BGA ASC were uh, claiming that, you know, any orders that you might uh, make with them would be severely delayed. Actually, BGA ASC, uh, they shut down their website till Monday because they have too many orders. So <clears throat> word on the street is that the uh, U.S. Mint is out of uh, Silver Eagles or you can't order Silver Eagles and and uh, for, and can't get them uh, and uh, and so my, and my LCS confirmed this. They said, yeah, you know, you can't get silver from any supplier. So I was in a I'm looking at a situation where spot price is fantastic, but I can't get any of the product. 
So, and, and my, I, as you guys know, I'm still on my dimes project. I'm still trying to finish out 500 ounces or a monster box, uh, what I call an ammo can project of, of dimes. And uh, so I went to my LCS and I said, hey, can I get some mercury dimes? Well, they didn't have it in uh, mercury dimes in that format. They're all mixed in with Roosevelt dimes. So I went ahead and I got um, 215 face of, of uh, sweet, sweet constitutional junk silver. And I got a bunch of mercury dimes and uh, and uh, regular rose rosies in here. So there's a mix and I'm gonna go ahead and sort through all of this and see, you know, I, I would say there's probably 30% mercs in here and, and I don't have much hope of having some, you know, good quality because it looks like, uh, you know, all this is, is uh, pretty random and pretty dirty, but I'll go ahead and separate this out and uh, show you what the results are uh, when I go ahead and clean all this up. Now, the interesting part is that uh, even though it's a buck fifty over spot, which is way too much for me, the spot price had reduced so much that I paid less for this than I've been paying for some of my other stuff. I've been paying, uh, uh, you know, thirteen hundred for a uh, hundred dollars face or twelve hundred for a hundred dollars face. And it, it was it was getting close to eleven hundred for hundred dollars face, but I ended up paying um, eleven sixty five for this, which is a little unfortunate, but just fifty dollars more, which I would normally pay for mercury dime. So you know I, I'm, what I'm seeing, what I'm noticing, you know maybe you guys do better, but this is uh, what I've witnessed is that. If uh, junk silver is going for some amount for a hundred dollar face, then mercury dimes are like fifty bucks more. So essentially, I was pay you know I was expecting to pay about uh, eleven fifteen, and I paid eleven sixty five uh, per hundred dollar face. I got two hundred dollar face here, and uh, two fifteen, and uh, so. I ended up pretty much paying what I'd normally pay for mercury dimes uh, in terms of the premium that I'm talking about. And for the fact that I can't get it anywhere else, I said, you know what, I'll pay that premium. You know, it's, it's I probably am gonna get like 30% uh, mercs out of here is what I'm eyeballing. But uh, <clears throat> nonetheless, I'll still have I have, I've got the silver. I was able to make the purchase and do it. I, I, and I probably could have bought a lot more, but I think what I'm gonna do, I have some dry powder. I've been holding on to that. Obviously I have my sort of uh, shit hits the fan uh, uh, dry powder that I wanna keep uh, cash for emergencies, but I also have some savings that I've been uh, saving up to get this stuff. And I could easily double this amount uh, well more than double this amount if I wanted to. Uh, but right now this is, gives me enough to work on and enough to see if prices go down. Because if prices go down more, uh, I can go ahead and pick up some more. And that's probably what I'll do. If prices shoot back up again, I'll be happy with my purchase. And maybe, just maybe, I'll get enough Mercs out of here to finish my Mercury Dime project. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be really close. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think I'll still be shy, but uh, uh, maybe I'll be able to finish up the Mercury Dime project and then I'll have some spare <clears throat> Roosevelts and slicks and some other things that, that I'll, uh, I'll maybe, you know, trade in and uh, get, you know, start another project, start another, another Monster Box uh, effort. So, so that's, that's the state of affairs. Um, as you know, it's crazy out there. Um, we go, we've, we've got this uh, a pandemic that's, that's on the rise. People are really freaking out about it. It's starting to hit home for a lot of folks. Um, don't really know how bad it's gonna be. I've been following it since, since early January. I, people seem to be catching up uh, right about now with how serious I thought it was back then. Um, and uh, I find this this whole event in history fascinating. I think 
this event in history is going to change a lot for it's, to me it's a, it's it's a it's a similar to a 9/11 event and uh, that might be might be overstating it but I think people will remember this market crash and this uh, um, pandemic as just the beginning of of a, of a sea change in thought about monetary policy. The Fed just announced they're going to be printing 1.5 trillion. Trump is about to make some emergency declaration and in a little bit here. And uh, it's getting wild for the U.S. It's already been wild for a lot of other countries. Italy, We, I had plans. I had plans to go to Italy. I was traveling to Italy. Canceled. 100% canceled. And that was an emotionally hard thing to do. So... Um, because had 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 the heart set on a two week vacation in Italy, planned for months and canceled, obviously. So here we are in a in a little bit of a new world, a new paradigm. People are seeing things through new eyes, and uh, you know, keep on stacking, folks. So what I'll do is I'll I'll uh, I'll go ahead and and sort these out and and give you a sense of where we're at. All right, coming back at you in just a second for you and probably a quite bit longer for me. All right, guys, I have a confession to make and it's maybe time to admit it. I do something that is frowned upon by the uh, silver stacking community and I've done it for all of the mercury dimes that you've seen uh, in, in my videos. And it's time to come clean because I clean my silver. So what I typically do, well, here's what happened. I started messing around with silver uh, a while back and my hands got all dirty and I rubbed my eyes and I got, I don't know, not an eye infection, but my eye was red for several days. And from that, that point on, I said, you know what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit there and try to scrub any particular uh, dime down and make sure that it's in perfect condition. But I go and I put, I pour my dimes into a spaghetti strainer. I throw some, uh, either some, I, I used to do um, um, a baking soda and I just rub some baking soda in and you know swish them all around, swirl them all around and get off just the majority of the dirt and disease or whatever it is. My hands still get dirty when I play with silver, uh, but not to the degree that it used to, because there's just so much dirt and debris and yuckiness on there that I did not want to be touching my face, rubbing my eyes, getting that, getting sick from the silver. So I at least wanted a rinse. Now I use uh, liquid soap, and, and so I'll just use some, um, some some regular dishwashing soap and I'll just pour it on there and, and uh, fill up the sink, you know, a quarter of the way full, spaghetti strainer, throw the silver in, you know, churn them all around for a couple of minutes. And that generally they, you know, they rub against each other enough to get most of the, the dirt and debris off in soapy water. And so with this whole recent sort of, uh, you know, flu scare and, and pandemic coming around, uh, I th I wanted to kind of admit that I've been doing this and I know I'm going to get some uh, some nasty comments or some people who say that you shouldn't clean your silver. Um, I, I, I don't really consider this cleaning uh, and I don't have numismatic stuff anyway. You know, I'm not looking to... And if I found a, a 1916D in here, it is what it is. You know, it, it got tumbled around with some soap much like it would get tumbled around in your pocket. So I don't, I don't have a, uh, a lot of worry if I get dinged because it, because the coin is cleaned or something like that, you know, so be it. But, but very random concern for junk silver, which is not a high premium, not, uh, so much of a worry to me. And for, and for people who are concerned about that, they don't want to clean their silver. That's fine. That's your silver. But this, this silver right here, this is my silver. And so I, I'm, I, I'm gonna go ahead and you can see it's still wet right now. It's kind of drying off before I, I uh, uh, blot it with a towel. And, uh, and so, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that. 
and and uh, that's that's the way I've been operating. And and so so you know, I mean, especially this stuff right here with you know Rosies and Mercs, and and uh, I saw a couple barbers in here, so I'm kind of excited. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's my admission, guys. Uh, go ahead, tell me tell me what you think of that. You know, do you, do you clean your junk silver? Uh, do you clean it in, in a specific way or, or, you know, it's time to admit it. And it's, it's, it's not as bad now that, uh, we're, we're rubbing hand sanitizer all over ourselves and we're washing our hands more and better than God. And we are going to be wearing face masks, whether they, they tell you you shouldn't wear your face masks or not. And so at this point, Hey man, I'm, I'm giving you the permission. I'm giving you the okay. You can clean your silver. It's your silver. Don't let anyone else tell you what you can do with your silver. But uh, uh, go ahead and, and beat me up in the comments because uh, I, I think that's an interesting uh, aspect to, this, to the community. Uh, it really goes, you know, runs a grain where there's the numismatic collectors versus, you know, I consider myself a metal stacker. I'm collecting most of this junk, silver, constitutional silver for the SHTF barter ability of the silver metal itself, not necessarily whether or not it's got um, some, you know, pretty picture stamped on it. So that's my philosophy. And uh, I understand that other people have different philosophies. So anyway, just thought I'd jump in with that little thought uh, uh, balloon there for you. And uh, let me know what you think. All right, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So that took a while, and I counted out $215 face. There's some uh, good news, good news, and bad news. We'll start with the bad news. I didn't quite get uh, as many mercury dimes. So I got uh, $40 face mercury dimes uh, out of my um, 215 face. I thought I'd have a little bit of a, a, a bigger percentage than less than 20%, right around 20%, a little less than 20% uh, of those dimes were Mercs. So I do not believe that's gonna finish my, my monster project, but uh, I'll uh, incorporate these into the, into the, uh, into the Mercury Dime project and, and see how far we are. Um, the other, uh, so that's the bad news. So the but the, <laughs> the strange uh, news I saw the the my my local uh, LCS uh, a gentleman he counted out all all that bag of dimes in the uh, in the dime machine uh, or in the the coin counter and uh, so it turns out instead of two hundred and fifteen face I got two hundred and 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 20 cents. So I got a dollar 20 face more than I should have. And here it is. I got seven barber dimes uh, and uh, one nice, uh, uh, good looking BU. There's another BU I had as well. Um, uh, just, you know, obviously shiny Merc. So I, I actually. Put that in one of my books it was so good uh so the, the other one i swapped it out already um so i got these barbers and this that's kind of fun right um i don't currently collect barbers but i've run into enough of them for free that uh you know they're they're starting to grow on me they're they're just so expensive and uh if you go out and, and try to buy them so but at some point here i might might acquire a roll of barbers. Uh, that'll be pretty cool. So then, and then I got all of these uh, Roosevelt. So uh, haven't been collecting Rosies. I do have a couple of rolls um, just because, you know, there's there's been uh, stragglers and stuff, junk that I've collected along the way. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I've uh, my, my desire to have junk silver is a is fractional silver at a low premium and this is fitting the bill. It's a lot of work going in and counting all of this, but it's kind of uh, a labor of love. I, I enjoy uh, seeing the silver, touching the silver and 
and organizing the silver and, and, and documenting it here for you guys, uh, kind of checking it out. So here we go. That's that these, uh, I will go ahead and, and uh, take all these mercs and uh, start sorting them by date and mint mark and putting them in their right tubes uh, to uh, at some day here finish this 500 ounces of mercury dimes or $700 face of mercury dimes and uh, see if we can't get closer to, to that goal. I'll go ahead and probably put these in bags, uh, at least a bag of, a, of a bags of 50, probably, and uh, and that way I can start uh, uh, storing that, and maybe at some point I'll have a, a monster box of of Roosevelts. All right, guys. So so that does it. Um, go ahead and do the, the the like and subscribe thing. helps helps my channel grow and uh, get, get out to more people if you like this kind of stuff. And uh, I'm sure with the, uh, the pandemic and the time at home, I might have an opportunity to make some more videos for you. So hopefully we'll have an update and maybe even a, it's been a year since I've done a full stack video and that seems to be my, my most popular video uh, in terms of uh, views. So might go ahead and do a, a full stack video uh, uh, coming, coming here on the anniversary of the channel. All right, guys, take care. See you, bye.